Squarespace just released a brand new feature that allows us to create a paywall for an individual blog in our Squarespace website. This means someone will need to log in to access the content of that specific blog. Now, there are a lot of cool features to explore. So in this video, I'll teach you how to enable this paywall and some of the important settings that you'll need to know. Without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen so we can get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and the first thing you'll want to do is to create a blog. Hop into the website tab, and you can click this plus sign to add a blog to your main navigation, or you can add one to the not linked section of your site. I already have a blog on this site, so let's go ahead and monetize it. I'll click on this blog, and we'll see a brand new screen. The very first option helps us create the pricing plan. If you select this option and select Create Pricing Plan, you'll be taken to a brand new screen. The first thing you'll need to do is name your blog. After that, you can have a description that can be up to 500 characters, totally optional. You can also list the benefits of subscribing to this blog. You can add up to five of these. After that is a very important part, setting the pricing. If you do a fixed amount, you can select anywhere from one up to 12 payments. Once they've made all of the payments, then they'll be done paying, but they can still access the blog. You can also set up a subscription for recurring payments. Pay on a monthly basis, a yearly or weekly basis, or even quarterly if you say once every three months. You've got a lot of options here. Here's a cool feature. Let's say we mark this as $5 a month. Then we can add an additional subscription option, maybe $50 for a year, to give people a discount for subscribing for a longer period of time. You can have multiple recurring payment options. And lastly, you can also set your blog to free. This means people will still need to log in or create an account to access the content, but they won't be charged for it. Underneath that, we have an option that says included products, and here you'll just see the blog. You won't see anything else, and you don't have the option to add an additional product. If you want someone to have access to a blog as well as other aspects of your website, like a portfolio of pages or a private store that's exclusive for members, I would recommend creating a member area and not monetizing an individual blog. Check out the additional content links listed in the description underneath this video for more information about member areas. Back to the blog, we've got one more option and that's to set a sign up limit. This is a brand new feature. Here you can turn on a limited enrollment period, a common marketing tactic that can encourage people to sign up quickly. Here you can select a start date and an end date. Once it reaches the end date, people will no longer be able to enroll to access the blog content. Now, after you've decided how you want to monetize this blog or create a free one, this option under pricing here, select create on the top right hand side. Instantly, we'll see a new feature that shows the paywall. Clicking into this paywall option is where you can set up the headline, the description, and a very important part here, decide the placement. You can have this paywall appear on blog posts only, or you can select blog overview and blog posts. If you select this option, the page that shows the list of all of the posts in your blog will also not be visible. Selecting blog posts only means that the paywall will only appear above blog content. Let me show you what that means. I'll select save. We'll go back to our blog here. And if we click on blog content, this is the overview page. Clicking into here is an individual blog post. So if we go back to our paywall here, we'll click this option. If you select blog posts only, you'll get the paywall on a blog post. If you select overview and blog posts, the overview page will also show a paywall and not the content inside. There are two other very important settings that I want to mention. We'll go back here to our blog and click into our blog content. Both of these important settings have to do with the individual posts themselves. The first brand new setting is set as public preview. If you have an individual blog post that you want people to access without a paywall, you can set it as a public preview by clicking this option right here. Now, our next setting is also very important if you have a paywall enabled. Scrolling down here, I'd like to show you I have an excerpt that's shown under the title. If we click into this block for blog post title one, we don't see that excerpt, but I have a preview here on an incognito tab so you can see this paywall. The blog excerpt is shown under the title when the paywall is enabled. Again, if someone is logged in, they're not going to see that option. You can set this under the settings for the individual post and place it right here inside the excerpt section. 
Again, if the blog is within a pricing plan, that excerpt will be shown on the blog post paywall, but it will not be visible on the blog post itself. After you've set up your paywall and assigned your settings, how do you get people to subscribe to your blog? As you can see on this page where I'm logged out, I can click the Join Now button and that will take me to the paywall. This is where we have the description, the benefits, and all of that fun stuff. And at the very bottom is a login option for people who have already subscribed to access this blog. But if you want to offer that feature on something other than the blog post that already exists, you can do this anywhere on your website that you can add a content block. Clicking into the standard page here, I'll hop into edit mode, I'll select add block, and we'll add a digital product. It's very important that you select digital product, not product. This is a digital one. Clicking here, I'll move this over to the side so it doesn't run over the text. There we go. Clicking this edit option next, I can choose a pricing plan. Blog 3 was the pricing plan that we worked with, and now we can have people register for the blog on this page separate from the blog. So if you're creating a sales page that highlights some of the features, maybe includes testimonials, whatever content you want, add yourself a digital product block, click the edit button, and select your blog pricing plan. There's a lot of interesting stuff to explore when it comes to this new feature, and I've got some creative code ideas that I'm excited to share with you. Let me know in the comments below. What do you want to learn how to create and customize about your Squarespace website? I'm eager to hear your ideas. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. Check out the description for some related content about customizing your blog, and as soon as I create new tutorials about this specific feature, I'll be sure to list them down there as well. Thank you so much for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.